First vice president, the second vice president. You got an appointment? For seven years. Maybe I can help you. to see you, Max. <laughs> Boy, we sure missed you. Oh, it's about time. Huh? Come on, let's sit down. We got lots to talk about. Let's sit right here, Max. How about some wine, Max? Good, we'll all have some. Here, here have a cigar. Hmm? You look great, Max. Never looked better, did he, Joe? Yeah, he's even got a good tan. Just in time for lunch. We'll go to Luigi's. Nice, thick steaks. Food can wait. Remember Luigi's, Max? Taste that. <laughs> the best. First thing you need is some new clothes. Have I got a tailor? Uptown. Shoulders. When Max wants clothes, he'll buy clothes. When he wants to eat, he'll eat. Maybe there's other things he wants first. Max knows what he wants. Did me always. And it all costs money. Everything costs money, huh, Max? Here's a thousand dollars. I notice you got the painting of Pa hanging downstairs. It's a copy of the one at the house. It's a nice touch. Banks should always hang paintings of the dead men who started them. Gives them a sense of uh, tradition. Like this one, this bank stinks with tradition. Max, Pa's been dead five years. Let it rest. Take the money, Max. Where's Ma living? I called the house, there was no answer. But what's wrong? Nothing. Doesn't she live at the big house anymore? She moved. Where? Back on Mulberry Street. Why? Well, who knows? We kept the big house for her just as it was. She won't go near it. Come on, drink up. We've got a whole bottle to kill. I kind of lost my taste for champagne. Cigars, too. A big, rich bank. Must be quite a responsibility. Lots of big, rich worries. You know something, Joe? You look worried. Me, I've got nothing to worry about. I got nothing, period. How's Maria? Fine. Is she still as beautiful? Yeah. You know, being married has got us worries, too. Especially to a beautiful girl like Maria. Does she ever ask about me? I must come up to dinner soon. Any time, Max. That's a nice family you got, Joe. Two kids. Blondes like their mother. How good time has been to you. To all three of you. Tony's got Maria. Two blonde kids who hate spaghetti. Pietro, second vice president. I can remember when your greatest ambition was 50 bucks for six rounds. Yes, time has been more than good to you. But tell me, why do you all look so worried? What do you want, Max? Seven years, I want them back. How much? I told you. It's not working, Max. You're not scaring anyone. I want seven years back. I'll see you, brothers. Better take the money. It's all you get. Bust his head. He's out for blood. He'll get blood. Plenty of blood. Who are you calling? Angelino. We don't need Angelino. We're going to keep it in the family where it belongs. Where it's always been. A 
man who throws away money is a big worry. A big problem. Saturday night. How come you're home on a Saturday night? You don't ask girls questions like that. If you must know, nobody asked me. There always was your trouble. Unpopular. I guess you've been alone every night. Nobody's that unpopular. Who? Anyone to kill time with. You've had a lot of time to kill. And a lot of time killers. Have you seen your brothers? I had to see them before anything. And? Don't be like that, Max. Especially not tonight. How did you expect me to be? Full of jokes? Happy Max, laughing boy? It's over. Seven years past and gone. Forget them. Vengeance is a rare wine. A joy divine, says the Arab. I'm gonna get drunk on it. Where did you pick that up? Some philosopher in the death house? Then you've come back a fool. Check. I was once the smartest of them all. What did it get me? Us. You and me and everything we've waited for. Max, let's get out of New York tonight. Let's go to San Francisco. You can start again whatever you want. What I want is right here in New York. Just what goes on in that fine Italian brain of yours? Murder? Is that what you planned for seven years? A vendetta? That's how I killed time. What about me? I was in a jail for seven years. I was in a bigger jail than yours. I was in a jail the size of the world. You'll have to wait a little longer. 
I've done my last night's waiting. Let me have the porter, please. What's that for? I'm getting two tickets on a plane to San Francisco. You'll have one empty seat. It's now or never. You mustn't threaten an Italian. It doesn't mix well in our blood. Am I part of your vendetta? Am I on your list? Isn't it enough to destroy your brothers and yourself? Why me? Why did you come back to me at all? And for what? A dead man, an evil man, a bad man. You're filled with this poison. It breathes in you. The world's better off with your father dead, but you're not. Good boy. That's what Gino Manetti likes. Hits the truth because it hurts. Hate, Max. Hate. Don't ever love. Listen to your dead father. Open it when I get there. The depositors will be waiting. Who else will pay my kind of interest? For my kind of interest, they can wait. Here, scrub on my back. Come on, 
Basta, Giorgio! Import people are calling again about their loan. Now the shipment is on the dock. Not now, after a little while. First, I take care of my friends. Oh, look out. Oh, Gino. Io ho bisogno di qualche cosa di moneta perché mi ha morto il cavallo. Parla, parla inglese. Qui siamo in America. How many times I tell you? Speak English. You got to learn sometime. I need uh, some money to buy one horse. What for you need a horse? The old one, she die. She cannot pick up a junk. How much it cost one horse? One hundred and fifty dollars. Huh? All right, the sign here, look up. Did you okay eighty thousand dollars on the housing project? See? That fellow from Chicago's on the telephone. Wants to know if you renew on the brewery. Hello? Gino Monetti? No. But, Gina, this is only $120. Look, uh, interest. I take him out in advance. Doctor say, I gotta send him to Denver. Where he died. Denver? That's a long trip. That's in Kansas. Well, how much? Train cost sixty-two dollars. Hey, Tony, get her. You know what is the banking hours? Nine to three, huh? But you're never open on time. Whenever you mind when I open, you open on time. What's the matter your nose? I won last night. By a knockout in the second round. How much you get? I can't take money. It would hurt my amateur standing. No money? Then why you fight? It's, it's sport, Pa. You fight, too? I'm his manager. He's also a sport, huh? Go on, go to work. Two sports, I got. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is too much. Oh, so I make a mistake. Oh, oh grazie. Oh, no, no, no. Grazie. No, 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 no. Bye, bye, <laughs> my dear, my dear. Bye, bye. Pa. Will you come here a minute? I want to show you something. You've got to make Max get an office somewhere else. Look at those characters hanging around. They're getting worse and worse all the time. They give the bank a black eye. Well, Max, he bring good business. Bail bonds for criminals. After all, we're running a bank park. What do you mean, a we? I am the bank. Go on, go back to your cage. Momento. No free ink here. You want to fill the fountain pen, you go to the post office. Post office. Oh, uh, Pietro. Yeah, Pa. Go see what the lady wants. Yeah, Pa. Yes, ma'am. Where will I find Mr. Minetti? Uh, we got lots of Minettis here. My father, my brother Joe, Which Tony. Which one is the attorney? Oh, the lawyer. Max. Thank you. That son of a gun. <laughs> oh, uh, you're lying. Yes, go ahead. You told me that. Did he have a gun? That's bad. Any witnesses? Very bad. Has he got any money? Good. Yeah. Doors are made to knock on. I haven't got time. 
Whoever it is, say you'll call them back. Mo, I'll call you back. Where do your clients sit? They don't, period. My name is Irene Bennett. What's your story? You were recommended to me by the firm of Hanford, Sloan and Elliott. Oh, it's a very high-class firm. I used to work for them. They don't recommend many clients to me unless... Unless what? Unless they're low class. A friend of mine is in trouble with the police. What did he do? What makes you say he? You don't look like you go to all this trouble for a woman, so what did he do? Oh, a lot of things. Bad checks, took some jewelry, sold someone else's car. What's he to you? I said he was a friend. Mm. This car and jewelry, yours, weren't they? Yes. So all you got to worry about are the bad checks. Why don't you make them good? It's too late. They were turned over to the district attorney. What do you want me to do? I'll give you my check to cover them and your fee. That should clean things up. Money is a great cleanser. Mm, expensive. He was worth it. Maybe to you, but not to me. What's wrong? I'm a lawyer, not a garbage man. You think you can skip through life with a checkbook. Opens and closes all the doors. I'm not that hard up. Take your business someplace else, period. That was a pretty insulting little speech. That's what I had in mind. But it didn't take. You can't insult women. You're not the type. No? No. From you, they love it. Nothing touches you. Everything bounces off that chromium finish. The chromium's wearing thin. Look, I'm tired and I'm bored with this mess. Will you take my case? After what I said? Especially after what you said. Say please. I'll pay my way, thanks. Say please. Please. All right. I'll take your case, Miss uh, Bennett. I'm not very good at remembering names. You'll remember my name. You busy? Come on in. Smell the air in here. Perfume. They sell it a drop at a time. You gotta have a doctor's prescription. Like chloroform, it gets in your brain. Who was it? A dame. How's things at home? How's Elaine? Okay. What's on your mind? You remember Pa promised to raise my salary after I was married. Well, hasn't he done it? No. Elaine's getting pretty sore. She says she thought she married a banker. Some banker. How can I entertain on $65 a week? When you've married her, do you have to entertain her? Her friends. After all, she comes from a fine Philadelphia family. Very social. Take her downtown, buy her a new dress, charge her to me. No, no, no. That won't do any good. Elaine's proud. First time she came into the bank and saw me behind the cage like a common clerk, she almost cried. She's sensitive. You mean she's impatient? Slow her down, Joe. You're gonna take over someday. The bank's gonna be yours. Who else? All you gotta do is wait. It's the way he treats me now in front of everybody. Go back to your cage, shut up, drive me home, do this, do that. How do you think I feel, Max? He don't talk to you like that. Nobody talks to me like that. I'm the oldest and I'm a married man. He don't have to treat me like a servant. All right, all right, I'll talk to him. Tell him to talk to me like he talks to you. Okay, what else? Thanks. Hello. Yes, Sally. Okay, go. Okay, don't go. Sure, I like you. I'm talking to you. No, not tonight. It's Wednesday. My mother cooks supper on Wednesday. I eat at home. I'll buy you a drink. Five minutes, one drink, period. Who? Silvio. Uh, look, uh, Silvio, you gotta talk more loud. Uh, uh, it's a phonograph. Well, I like it loud. Now, uh, look, uh, Silvio, if you want I hear you, you gotta speak more strong. That's a better. Uh, how much I give? Well, who give it the most? Domenico, huh? Well, how much he gives? Well, I give a 5,000 more than him. Yeah, and uh, my name goes on top. 
Oh, yeah, okay, okay. You, you come to the bank tomorrow. No parlate. Oh, pa, do we have to wait for Max? Well, what's your hurry? Well, we're expecting after dinner guests at our place. Well, why don't you bring him here? We got a plenty to eat, lots of room. My friends don't happen to like spaghetti. No? I'm getting a little tired of it myself. So, sure. me too. Make you uh, feel bad, your stomach, huh? Make you uh, feel sick, huh? Frankly, yes. You too? Yes, Pa. Well, uh, you come here every Wednesday. You eat your mama's spaghetti, you get sick. Or you uh, go find a job in some other bank. Hey, Pietro. We're waiting for Max. Spit out the bread. Some wine, Maria? Please, Antonio. Hey, Pa, can I give Maria some wine? Maria? <laughs> Maria can have anything she wants. <laughs> Supper before he's married. Max is busy, Mama. Pla. Oh, Pietro, change your record, Dom Sorry I'm late, everybody. Oh. Pa, Mama Domenica, you're looking bigger and better every day. Ah. Maria. Carissima Maria. Max. Maria! We're engaged, aren't we? Maria. Oh, Elena, is it fun to get kissed? You don't remember? Not till after you're married. Oh, then it's no more fun. Oh, uh, Max, did you, uh, what we talked about this morning? Forgot. We'll get it over with right now. No, no, not here. Why not? We're all family. Pa, how about giving Joe a raise? The bank's doing good. He works hard. Oh, you want the raise? Well, we don't have to talk about it now, Pa. We we'll talk about it tomorrow. Huh? No, Max is quite right. You might as well know where we stand right now. A raise, huh? When the first I get married, I make fifteen dollars a week. I have a four kids. How many kids you got? I wouldn't raise a child in a two-room apartment. Uh, well, we all live in a one room, back at the barber shop. I work seven days a week, 16 hours a day, out of my feet, never sit down. You're sitting down now, Pa, and we're all out of the barbershop. All Joe wants is the few more bucks a week you promised him. I promise you? Who well, well, don't you remember, Pa? At the wedding. Oh, the <coughs> wedding. <laughs> all of that vino. <laughs> I don't even remember even though we get married. <laughs> When I die, you get all of the dollars. The bank is for you. For Tony, for Pietro, all of the dollars. When I die. Non c'è nessuna cosa al mondo che odora più dei tuoi spaghetti, ma. Grazie. Cucinare dei spaghetti è un arto. Eh, ma sa, è un buon prima. cuoco, è un artista, come se fosse un artista. Il mondo è pieno di buoni cuochi e di leonisti, ma pochi sono i veri artisti. E tu, moglie mia, sei una grande artista. Mmm, to! 
Hey, Pietro. Dumbhead, answer the telephone. Hello, Mama. Where you, Helena? Mama. Who are you? Max, telephone. Excuse me. Maria? Hello? Who? It's all taken care of. Something new? Right now, my fee is double for evening calls. Be right over. Tony, if I don't get back in time, take Maria to the show. Sure, Max. Hey, where do you go, Max? Business, Pa, business. But I'll get back in time. Affari! Mia figlia Maria viene prima. Oh, momento, momento. Prima viene il mio figlio Max. Secondo, la sua professione. E terza viene Maria. E basta. Buon appetito. Ehi, hey, Pietro, change the record, Domed. Ah, oh, mamma. Prima classe. <laughs> You didn't waste any time. Uh, looks like you can afford a lot of trouble. What is it now? I've got chairs for my lawyers to sit in. Pick any one you like. I haven't had any dinner. I'm hungry. How about a drink before you eat? You said you had to see me right away. What about? You know, you don't really talk to people. You cross-examine them. I'm a lawyer. Me, you give facts. Sympathy you get from doctors and relatives. I don't want sympathy from anybody. Don't worry. You're not likely to get it. Thank you so much. Look, Miss Bennett, can we get to the point? I'm here on an SOS, an emergency, you said. Something very important. It is important. Well, let's have the facts. They're not easy to find words for. Well, start looking. I'm no good at reading minds. You're a thoroughly unpleasant young man. But a wonderful lawyer. The facts. Where's your briefcase? I'm waiting for something to put in it. Well, it seems a friend of mine. Another friend? I have many friends. As long as your money holds out, why not? That's insulting. Maybe I'm hungry. That's no excuse. What about your friend? You and your insults. Why don't you stop trying? The friend. It's a girlfriend this time, believe it or not. She's in San Francisco, that's my home, and she just called. It's a long, involved mess. You'd probably have to go out there. San Francisco? Did she ask you to get hold of me? Oh, of course not. That was my idea. She was desperate, and it occurred well, to me... What's the mess about? Oh, I couldn't possibly explain it. It's got to do with trust funds, her father's estate, all sorts of legal complications. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to hop a plane with a letter of introduction from you to her, is that oh, it? Oh, no, nothing like that. After all, she's my best friend. I'd want to be there, too. Oh, so we'd hop a plane together? If I can spare the time. Have you got an empty bottle? What for? Spin the bottle. If we're going to play like kids, let's make it a kissing game. It's much more fun. The words were hard to find, I told you. I don't belong to the California bar. You're smart enough to know that. But it is my home, or was. And the trust funds, the father's estate, yours. But no legal complications. Then you don't need a lawyer. I've got other complications. Still no drink? I still don't know why I'm here. Now who's playing a kid game? What goes with you, anyway? At the moment, I'm lonesome. I've resigned from the Lonely Hearts Club. Your fee is double at night. You made that perfectly clear. I'll get my wrap. You going someplace? We're going out. Sit down. Take off your wrap. Take off your wrap and sit down.
going to give you a short history of Max Minetti. Born on the east side and back of my old man's barbershop. Today he owns a bank and clips coupons instead of hair. But I still like the smell of garlic and red wine. I'm engaged to a beautiful Italian girl. She can give me kids and make me a home. She knows only one man. Me, Max Minetti. Period. Don't you want to know about me? I know about you. You're lonesome. What else? What do you want? Lies? What else is there? You like to get hurt. Always picking the wrong guy. It's a sickness with a lot of women. Always looking for a new way to get hurt by a new man. Get smart. There hasn't been a new man since Adam. Maybe you're a great lawyer. As a psychiatrist, you stink. One man's opinion. Nothing hurts me, Max. That's one of my complications. Max. A good name. I like it. It's not guaranteed for long wear. I don't wear anything for long. Let's go. Where? Out. That's my boy, Pietro. What it says on the bat roll. That's me. Give it to him, Pietro. Stopped the fight. The what? Panza. Pietro got too much in the Panza. fatherly gesture. He lost, didn't he? And the Minettis must never lose. I suppose poor Pietro will now blow his brains out in the dressing room. He didn't lose so bad at that. He never even got knocked off his feet. It seems to be a family characteristic. You're throwing a few punches yourself, then. Just light jabs. I haven't thrown a real punch yet. Let's go dance. Later. This atmosphere's got me. I like it here. How's that beautiful Italian girl you're engaged to? So that's it. When do you see her? She'll have me the rest of her life. Well, that's quite a sentence. No time off for good behavior? She's none of your business. What about your time off for bad behavior? That's my business, isn't it? Come to think of it, that's me. What are you suddenly being sore about? What did you expect me to be? And it's not sudden. Do you think women live in vacuum-sealed containers like tennis balls? I just... I thought you were different, that's all. You'd love to find one, wouldn't you? Get smart. There hasn't been a woman in love different since Eve. So it's love? Yes, Max. It's love. <laughs> Embarrassing, isn't it? I just don't like complications. I'll simplify it for you. Goodbye, Max. a disgrace. That's what it is. It's a disgrace. Why, my Maria could have her pick of the finest men around. Doctors, bankers, big businessmen. It's a disgrace. Oh, Elena, Elena, why are you getting so excited with nothing? Nothing! 
You call it nothing for Max engaged to my daughter and running all over town with another woman. Oh, he's a no other woman. He's a client. Max, he's got lots of clients. Well, sometime you uh, got to mix up a little pleasure with the business. Business with the pleasure. But all the time is a strictly business. Hey, Max? You see? He's got nothing to say. He's guilty. It's written all over his face. You cannot see his face. He's got his back to you. Gino, the engagement is off. Give him back his ring. I won't. The engagement is not off. That's my girl. Don't you come near her. Give him back his ring. No. Elena, I think you sit down. And don't you tell me what to do. Now, Elena, sit down. And hurry up. Oh. Whatever a man do before he's married is nobody's business. It was when I was a girl. When you was a girl, fastest thing in the world was a horse. I'll have you know my husband died happy. Your husband was happy to die, which is a different thing. Oh, I'm not going to sit here now and you be... sit down and you shut up. Oh. You know, is it time you learn something about the United States? I'm going to tell you about it. Is it called New World? Why? Because everything new. All the world... Cities grow this way. New world, cities grow this way. All the world, bathrooms outside. A new world, bathrooms inside. It's the same thing with people. All the world, your father a barber, then you a barber. New world, your father a barber, you want to be a president? All right, why not? What has this got to do with Max and my Maria? Well, plenty. Marriage is different here, too. All the world, boy and girl, they get engaged. They wait the one year, two year. When they're tired of each other, they get married. United States is a different. They get married right away. Get tired afterwards. I don't care about old worlds and new worlds. It's my daughter's happiness that's at stake. Yes, but Eleanor, woman is happy here. Woman is boss. His biggest difference. Here, only free time in a man's life is before he gets married. United States, the wives don't just stay home and uh, have a babies and cook like an older world. No, here they come and go, they buy and sell. Someday they even find way for husbands to have babies. Say something, Max. It's for Maria to say if she still wants me. I'll never marry anyone else. Good. Then a week after Easter, I fix up everything. I haven't agreed to anything. Besides, it's my daughter that's getting married. I'll take charge of the wedding, if there's going to be one. I want to marry Max, and I want to marry him right away. Now, you listen to me. Elena, with you and me, you're still all the world. You open your mouth once more and I... Hey. Relax. Everything's settled. Like Pa said, we'll get married a week after Easter. <laughs> you see, Teresa? Gino, fix up everything. Yes, Gino. You fix up everything. <laughs> You're not dancing with me. What about dinner? I'm not hungry. Well, I am. Eat. Get me a taxi, please. Uh, shows are letting out, ma'am. It'll be a little while. If you're walking home, you live the other way. I know it. I'm a girl with a sense of direction. Where are you going? That's the question. You're not going anywhere, period. What are you going to do? Beat some sense into me?
What's this all about? I'm beginning to know you, Max. I don't like what I see. You're in love with me. What happened to it? Nothing's happened to it yet. Who's the other guy? There isn't any. You're talking to me, Max Manetti. Who That's is he? That's all you can think of. The only reason I could leave you is for somebody else. Nothing could be wrong with you, could there? What are you looking for? This is 1932, New York, the jungle. It's dog eat dog in the face by counts. Just whom are you fighting, Max? Me or yourself? It's beginning to hurt and you can't take it. Why should I? What do I get, a silver cup? I'm not going to get hurt, remember? Especially not by you so you can play dog eat dog in a jungle. Look, things are the same with us as they always were. Not with me. Something new's been added. I don't understand you anymore. You don't understand anybody. Not even yourself. You've never tried. You love Max Minetti and he loves you. No questions asked. Good night, Pat. Good night, Pat. Good night, Pat. Good night, Pat. Excuse me. You're going to marry Maria. She'll give you kids, a home. What'll you give her? What have you got to give her? You finished? I'm finished. Then let's eat. I'm hungry. Just like that. Just like that. I keep forgetting you live in a jungle. Then come quietly, baby. Can't we get together and figure whether this is the right thing to do? I hate the thought of spending nights all alone, missing the thrill of night. Would the lady like a drink? The lady's not drinking tonight. More coffee? Before you whisper goodbye, goodbye forever. Let's talk it over, dear. How many of those before you jungle boys get drunk? You in a hurry? Enjoy yourself. It's our last night. Have fun. Please don't talk about me <laughs> when I'm gone. <laughs> oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from now on. You can turn it on or off, can't you? Character, that's what you got. Plenty of character. Why don't you have another drink? You'd like to see me fall on my face and beg. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You never will. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Max Minetti could... Period. There's an epitaph for you. Here lies Max Minetti. Period. Who are you going to take up with after me? It's one thing I don't worry about. It worries me. Why? Because I'll be thinking about it. And I don't like what I'll be thinking. Ice. You mean your ears are cold? You feel better now? Worse. I feel rotten. I'll take you home. Who's home? Yours. Boy, you're loaded with character tonight. Got any cigarettes? Don't sell cigarettes. Haven't got a license. You got a nice place here. Lots of atmosphere. Full of characters. Your lady friend's leaving. She left me four hours ago. That yours was such a heart of gold And after I was sold On all those tales you told 
see you. Austin. Yeah, sweat it out. That's the way, Max. Sweat it out. I'm beat, Pa, really beat. Yeah, smart the boy. Let the woman do this. She don't mean a thing to me. So she mean a nothing. Then why you beat? She told me off and there's no other guy. That's what gets me. Well, soon enough you marry Marie. You forget it, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, how do you forget, Pa? What do you do? Uh, sweat it out. Good thing you come here. Trouble at the bank. I don't get it. She's nuts about me. She told me. I know she is. Books. Always want to look in the books. Always want to make a trouble. Books. She can't leave me. I won't let her leave me. I'll go bust her door down. What is it, this money? What is it, that money? How you get this? Why you do that? Books is no way to run a bank. Uh, she'll come crawling. You're right, Pop. Forget. I'll marry Maria. Twenty years I run at the bank and never have no trouble. No one asking me nothing. I throw them out. That's what I'm going to do. From now on, no one looking in my books. What are you talking about? Books. What books? The bank. They're looking in my books. They ask lots of questions. Well, you've got the answers, haven't you? Why, you think I'm a sweating? <laughs> Where's the piano player? She don't start till five o'clock. Mm. Thanks. Johnny? No. He ain't here. Want me to try that number for you? She's not there. Sometimes a woman's too busy to answer the phone. I've been waiting all week for your call. What made you think I'd call? Still making with the character, is that it? What do you want, Max? Why did you come here? I lost something. I thought maybe I'd find it here. Your umbrella? My girl. Nothing of that description's been turned in. You might try the city pound. I'm in no mood for jokes. How about a shock? How's your heart? I got two in the sixth row, and we got 18 months to pay. Hello, who's the company? Danny, this is Max Minetti. I told you about him. Yeah, I remember. Glad to see you. Get out of here. For you, a hot rose. I picked it in the park. Thank you, darling. You're on your way out, Mr. Blow. Doesn't he approve of me? Looks like. Are you leaving or am I throwing you out? I'm not leaving and you're not throwing me out. Now, just I can a handle this, baby. I know you can, but for once in his life, he's not going to have things his way. This is not Mulberry Street, Max, and you're no longer Il Duce. You're not giving orders. You're not even wanted here. This is going to be our home, Danny's and mine. We're getting married. It's still being done, you know, outside the jungle. You're my girl. I don't care if you marry ten guys. That does it. You go party your nose. I'll take care of friend Max. You just stay put. 
I'll get you out of this mess. Put on your hat and blow. I don't want to get out of it. Okay, if I take off my hat? Look, you sucker. She's in love with me. She knows that I know it and you ought to. She's making a chump out of you. Look who's calling who chump. Get out of here, Max. Just like that. Just like that. It's a strange kind of finish for us. All right, but remember, you're stuck. I'll remember, too, when you come crawling back, period. Max, your father's been calling all day. I thought you'd like to know. Thanks. Well, when the government stopped running my bank. Why did the government close your bank? Silencio! You know, the government say I cannot loan the money on the people. Only property, collateral. You know what this is, the collateral? You know, can say it even. You know, can spell it. But if you don't got it, poof, no collateral, no money. Here, uh, one of them. Just a minute. Pizziano. Hey, Pizziano, where are they? Now, look. Look, tell me, would you have a your store today if I don't loan you $1,200? On you, you would, no collateral. Hey, oh, Kupicha, that's all right, you get your money. You're you're you get my money, what's out of there? That's all right. Hey, hey, Kupicha, hey, 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 you telling me something. How you get a start? Huh? I believe in you. I give you $2,000, no collateral. That government say it's wrong, it's break the law. I say it's right, the law is no good. But what you mean, man? Man? Oh, your match. Oh, I haven't got any match. I've given up smoking. Well, somebody give me a match. But quick. What's the matter? Your hand is shaking like that. You're nervous like a woman. I get hit on the head, you're nervous. Here's a Max. Well, Pa, how's the head? How's it, the bank? It's a mess. Well, the head isn't not so good either. I can't understand how you got in so deep. Joe, the records. Half the transactions aren't even recorded. I didn't keep the records. He did. In his head, in his vest pocket, on the backs of envelopes. I just stayed in my cage. Maybe it's just as well. Maybe some of them wouldn't look so good in the books. Pa, have you read the new Banking Act? I don't even read the old one. Why? Well, it's got teeth. We might as well face it, Pa. Right now, it looks like you can be indicted on 22 counts, and each count carries a year in jail. Well, why? Why? What'd I do wrong for 22 counts? A felony called misapplication of funds. This is no time to go into the law. We've got to figure out our next move. Smart lawyer like you, Max. You ought to be able to find a fix somewhere. This is the state government. Square apples all the way down the line, they don't fix. Period. I think we can save the bank. In fact, it's good they closed us up. Lots of banks are having runs. Now we've got a chance to liquidate and start over with a clean slate. 
Oh, I sell at the house. I sell everything. Everybody gets paid back. That won't help. That only saves the bank. How do we pull you through? Well, we fight the indictments. We fight them in court. We fight. Yes, but how? Well, me and my four sons, we find it some way. Yeah. Yeah, we can split it up four ways. You, Joe, Tony, Pietro. Divide a responsibility. Nobody knows who did just what. Nothing definite they can pin on any single one of you. How about it, Joe? It'll be easier on Pa that way. Yes, I suppose it will be. Well? Tony? Pietro? I never had enough responsibility to divide. Well, what do you say? I'm a clerk. I get $65 a week. Not enough to go to jail for. What's that got to no, do with it? Shut up. Shut up, Max. Now, look at Joe. Gina Monetti don't ask her nothing from a clerk. Not the one I got the four sons to help me. You, my oldest son. Since when? Joe. Since when? Your oldest son. Oh, you mean I've been around the longest, that's all. More time to wait on you like a servant, to be pushed on, humiliated. Show for valid clerk. Since when have I been your son? Max, he's your son, you're his father. You can be his worry now, not mine. Sure. For a few more dollars a week, I could have had a good son in here, eh, Joe? First time I learned this. Maybe it's time I know, huh? Father and son, son and father. It's cash and carry. You, Petro, how much uh, you want to be my son? Joe said it for me. What was I ever to you? A dumbhead. Ever since I was a kid. Dumbhead, dumbhead. Who's going to pay attention to me? A guard in the bank. If I wasn't your father, you wouldn't even be guard. You don't have any sense. Four or five schools, they throw you out. You don't want to study all the time a fight. That's all you're good for. Not even for fighting you good. You got the weak belly, dumbhead. Well, Tony? Oh, don't get me wrong, Pa. I don't want to see anything happen to you. But I don't want to stick my neck out. Why not? What is so good about your neck? Well, it's just that... How do I know it's as easy as Max says? And if anything goes wrong? <laughs> You're not even enough a man to say what do you mean. You're just in time, huh? Did you know you brought up a house full of strangers? Strangers? Caballero. Stranieri. Who do you think I built at the bank, huh? Who do you think I work in a build, building a work? For me, for Mama? We cannot live long enough to spend what we got a long time ago. Mama wanted me to stop, but no. I work in a build, I build in a work. For what then? For my sons. For you, Joe. He's good, I pay you a little. Then you know what it is to be poor. You remember when you're rich. It was right to pay you a little money. Yeah, it's good I call you dumbhead. You know, muscle is not the same thing to be proud of. Gorillas have got the bigger than anybody else. Maybe you learn it to use your brain. Think, not hit. He's right to call you dumbhead. You, weak. Dress up all the time. Clothes, the girls, everything about the bank. The bank, the bank of Gino Monetti. Gino Monetti and his sons. That's what I work in the build for. That's why I live. But to no more. I have no sons. I have strangers. You want to get out? We'll beat it without them, Pa. You don't need them. You better get some sleep. We've got an awful lot to do tomorrow. Hey, Mama, why you don't talk to me no more? Why don't I hear you laughing no more, hmm? What happened to you? Maybe I get old. Old? Oh. Well, maybe a little gray, but not old. He's a pretty color gray. 
We have plenty of good time again. Soon Maxi fix everything, and then you and me will take a little trip, huh? Palermo. You like to go back to Palermo once more, Mama? I wish we never leave old country, Gino. Oh, well, we have a nothing there. Here we got everything. Here we got nothing. What do you mean? This is a fine house, some money, servants, a cars, a diamonds. You call it this nothing? We poor, Gino. When we only have Baba shop, we rich. We love each other. The boys, you, me. Now is no more love. Is only hate. You said you were a barber. See? How did you become a banker? I tell you. My wife, uh, she's gonna have a baby. Uh, my littlest son, uh, Pietro. Well, the doctor say I need a $50 for the hospital. So I go to Giuseppe asking for $50. He make out the paper and say, I gotta pay him back a $75. I say, is it too much? You say, all right, to go to bank. So I go to bank. They say I gotta have a collateral. So I say, what is it, this uh, collateral? They tell me, is it something good, just like a money? So I say, if I got a collateral, what for I need a money? And they say, goodbye. So I go back to Giuseppe, sign the paper, get the money, my wife have it, the baby, everything okay. <laughs> if Your Honor, please, what has all this talk about babies got to do with the Banking Act? What's the matter, you don't like babies? <laughs> Court recessed until 1.30. My horse, she died, so I go see my friend Gino. How much money did he loan you? He gave me $120. And how much do you owe the bank now? He say, uh, uh, $287.33. $287.33? Did you ever borrow more than the original $120? Uh, no. Then what's the extra $167.33 for? Ah, there, there is interest. Combined, no? Mm -hmm. And a carrying charge and to record the note. Mm -hmm. And I try to pay. You never pay, not the one cent. How am I gonna pay when I got no money? My new horse, she died too. Well, is it not to my fault? You a horse killer. You promised to pay, you never pay. Your witness? No questions. Step down. Sir di Cavallo. Come to the quality of Adam, I've tested. Mi serrabile, ingratto. Sit down, Pop. Most of your business was done with people from the east side, wasn't it? Well, my bank is not on the Wall Street. Just answer the questions, yes or no. Yes. People who live on the east side are mostly poor, aren't they? Yes and no. Depending on whether they lend money or borrow it. So you know how hard it is for these people just to make a living? It's not easy. Then how could you ever expect them to pay such interest? Well, I wait until they have it. Most of them never have it. How many homes have you foreclosed? How many salaries have you garnished? How many men have you sent into bankruptcy? I instruct the witness not to answer these questions. The facts are all on the bank records. I answer everything. I'm not afraid. The questions are improper. You don't have to answer them. Oh, let him ask. I tell. I got nothing to hide. You say you loan money on people, not collateral. When you foreclose on collateral, all you take away is a man's property. But when you garnish a man's wages, you take his sweat. His blood, the bread out of his children's mouths. Do you call that helping people? I call it usurious. I accuse you of being a lecherous moneylender, a disgrace to every what? decent Italian American. Well, just one minute, twist. You don't talk to Gino like that. Nobody talks to Gino like that. Shut up, Pop! You shut up! He's a free country! I do what I think is right, and what I think is right is right. I don't care what anybody say. Not to you, not to you, and not to you, mister. Hey, hey. I, Gino Manetti! Hey, no one hey, telling me hey. what to do. Well, what do you think, Joe? I'm no lawyer. I don't know what goes on in a jury's mind. Who does? You don't have to be a lawyer to see it's going bad. The old man's just asking for it. I can't let him get back on the stand tomorrow. They're ripping to pieces. How can you sit there stuffing yourself? What's the proper etiquette at a time like this? To stop eating? I've got an idea, Joe. 
It's a long shot and it's dangerous. Yeah. I think we've got one of the jurors on our side. Once the other 11 start working on her, then she'll never hold out. Yeah. The idea is to see she does hold out. Oh. Somebody has to talk to her. Tonight. Is this the secret of Max Manetti's success? You got a sewer for a mine. Someday you're gonna fall in. Meantime, I'll drink my beer. Who's gonna talk to that juror? Not me. The other boys aren't smart enough. One of them is. You. I thought of that. I may not be able to get near her. If she turns me down, the old man will really be nailed. You, she doesn't know. Well, what do you say, Joe? I said it many times. You want to hear it again? All right. If the old man got himself in, let him get himself out. This is the time I'll remember. friend finally showed up. She wants to see you. Got a minute? What's on your mind? I've been watching the trial. I saw you. Sit down, Max. Please. It's not going well, is it? It's not over yet. Where's your husband? Danny? in Chicago. Taking a big chance, isn't it? What if you get lonesome? As a matter of fact, I am. I don't handle that kind of work these days. Danny and I aren't married. We had it out that same night. I didn't love him. I was just using him to cut out something that was hurting me. It was no use. It still hurt. That Manetti touch. If they'd only let you kiss the jury. Baby, I've got a call to make. I'll pick you up in an hour. I know about these night calls. Is it that important? Yes, it is. Not tonight. It can't be. Call it off. I can't. The party doesn't even know I'm coming. Then how do you know they'll be there? I've got a feeling I'm expected. They don't know you're coming, yet you think you're expected. That's a strange date. It's something new, even for me. What's it about, Max? Nothing to worry you. I'll drive you and wait for you. No, you don't want to sit in the car. I'll take a cab and be right over. I'm driving you. Period. The children, they're in bed. You shouldn't be here. There's lots of things shouldn't be. If anyone found out. Not much of a view. Especially for kids. This is the best I can do since my husband died. I've never done this before. Do you believe me? Yes. Sending my father to jail isn't going to make this a better world. What are his chances? I can't tell you. You mean you don't want to? I'm under oath. You're a good woman, aren't you? I try to be. And a good mother. They're all I have. What do you make a week? Thirty-two fifty. Will it hurt? I can't. I know you wouldn't do it for yourself. Please go.
And take this with you. Well, I tried. You must love your father a great deal. I'm all he's got. You better not stay any longer. darling. Yes, I go where I please. Your new trial starts in a week. It isn't good for you to be seen here. This is a new bank. What do you mean it's a new bank? It's in my bank. Let's get that very clear. This isn't your bank. You don't own a nickel of it. You signed it over to Ma. Ma signed it over to us. Well, I only give it to Ma, so there'll be nothing in my name when the trial comes. She has no right to give it to you. We do things legally now. Legally, she had the right, and legally, she signed it over to us. Me, Tony, and Pietro. Well, you, Tony, and Pietro, legally dirty crooks. It's my bank. The bank is mine. The money is mine. The name is mine. The name we hope to live down. In the meantime, you stay away from here. You can live in the big house with Ma. We'll pay all the bills. You get $40 a week for spending money. Learn to smoke cheaper cigars. And if you ever so much as set foot in this bank, you get nothing. Well, what I do? Where I go? You're an old man. Buy peanuts. Go in a park, sit on a bench. <laughs> Feed the peanuts to the pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy! Get him out of here! You better go, Pop. You're gonna be sorry, Joe. I promise you. You don't look good. You don't look like a man who beat the rap, a free man. What the good is it to be free? I got nothing to do. I got nowhere else to go. How's the new bank coming along? It's your brother's bank, not mine. It's in their name, that's all. Just a way of protecting the assets in case... No, it's a way to throw me out. Just say I'm an old man, no good for nothing. Go sit in the park and tell me, feed the pigeons. Go away, old man. We steal the bank from me, Max. But I'd like to sit in the park and feed the pigeons. You think? Feel the sun on my face, get up, walk around when I want. Instead of you stuck in jail here like a rat in a trap, huh? Who put you here, Max? The sovereign state of New York. No, no, you brought a Joe. You brought a Joe, go call the police. You mixed up, Pa. Even Joe wouldn't do a thing like that. When you go see the lady that night, don't know anything about it. You and Joe, nobody else, huh? When you come out, the police will wait for you. Who else but Joe? Look at what he do to me. Besides, someone tell me it was a joke. Someone who hear him talk. Who told you? 
Maria asked me to give you this. She cried. I expected it. She gonna marry Tony. Tony is gonna be vice president of the bank. How about Pietro? Oh, he's gonna be a second of vice president. Hmm. Not bad. We don't let him do this to us, Max. Someday you get out, we take back the bank. Everything that they rob her from us, you get it back, Maria. I don't want Maria. When I get out, I want to forget the whole thing. Oh, no, 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 Max, you must not forget. You got to make them pay. They steal it from me, what I work my whole life for. I work 16 hours a day, all kind of sweater shop. I save every penny. For years, I sweat in the barber shop. You remember, I do without everything. I wear one pair of shoes, a one suit. I save it for years. And for what? The bank. The bank is in my life, is in my blood. They killing me, Max. They take away my blood. I can't live much more. I, I can't fight much more. I got nobody left. Only got you. You got to fix them, Max. For me. You got to do this for me. You got to make them pay. Forget about it, Pa. They'll pay. May I please see Mr. Minetti? Oh? Another letter to Max. Yeah. They open the new banker soon. Me, they don't invite. They send a Pietro down to say I better keep away. I'm a writer, this is to Max. Why? I tell him Max everything. Why? Because of Max, such a thing's easy got to know. And what do you use on your pen? Just plain poison or some special kind? Isn't it bad enough for him locked up for years? Do you want to drive him crazy with your letters? Yo, Tony, Pietro. Max hates them. I want you should hate them. I want you should never stop. You've never wanted anything else from any of them. Joe, Tony, Pietro, or Max. When you die, what a treasure you'll leave to the world. Four men full of hate. These are my sons. This is none of your business. One of them is. I love him. I want him to love me. To be able to love me. This is none of your business. Don't write that letter. Don't send any more. Leave him alone. Give him a chance. You've ruined his life up to now. Let him have it from now on. Stop filling him full of poison and hate. No, I don't want a Max who should forget. I write them today, tomorrow, every day. I don't want a Max who should forget. Then he'll wind up hating you too, just like everyone else in the world hates you. Get out of my house. Tell Max about me. Tell Max his girl hates his father. Tell him his girl wishes his father were rotting in jail instead. Now, get out. You think of that sometimes, don't you? That you belong up there instead of Max. Let's go. Where? Give it a 12 hour pass to see someone. Who?
Now you make Kajino happy. Now you go back to jail happy. You stay up the nights. You make all kinds of plans. Smart plans. You kill Joe, Joe kill you. Gino very happy. Once I have a husband, I give him four sons. Now I have nobody. No husband, no sons. Go, Max. Go away. Vafia! Vafia! Well, Pa, where do we start? On Joe, Tony, or Pietro? Huh? Can't waste time with Pietro, not a dumbhead. That's what he is, isn't he, Pa? Isn't that what you always called him? Maybe Tony. I could take Marie away from him. That would break him up. Take his kid away, too. The kid always goes with the mother. And that would leave Tony with only his job at the bank. The bank comes next. A nice, big, juicy scandal. We'll start an investigation. Maybe even get an indictment with the grand jury. That'll take care of Joe. Elaine would leave him cold. With the bank gone, Pietro will wind up a human punching bag. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Pa? That'll make you rest easy. You've always had it your way living, and you'd like it your way dead, too. Dog eat dog. Never forgive, never forget. You raised us that way, didn't you? Well, I got news for you, Pa. Tony can keep Maria. Joe can have his bank. Pietro can have his vice presidency. I've got Irene. I lost seven years with her. They could have been seven wonderful years. And I threw them away. I buried them with you. But that's all you're getting, Pa. Not one more second. You've had all you're gonna get. I've come back to life, Pa. Hello, baby. Max. We can still make that plain. Come and get me. I'm at the old house. What's the matter? Can't you hear me? Well, say something. Oh, Max. Max, I'm coming as fast as I can. Well, make it faster, period. Welcome home, brothers. I'm glad you've come. I've got news for you, good news. It calls for a celebration. Pietro, you know where the wine is. Get it out. 
We'll all have one last drink together in brotherly love. It's a pity Pa isn't here to see it. What's the matter? Only this morning you were falling all over one another to drink with me. You gave us a bad time this morning, Max. My stomach's been upset all day. You need a new diet, Joe. Look at me. Hard as a rock, seven years, no pastries. That's what does it. I like to sleep nights. I don't want to go to bed worrying about my kids, my home, the bank. Life isn't worthwhile if you got to worry. Well, if you're worried about me, you can stop. Once I step out of this house, you'll never see me again. A change of heart, is that it? Change of mind. All of a sudden, you're a new man. The vendetta's off, just like that. Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? You're no different than the old man. Pa never changed, neither will you. You both got the same blood. Well, so have I. That's one thing you forgot. I've got an appointment. You're in my way. Pietro! Just because you've been in jail, you think you're tough. As I sit in a bank all day, you think I'm soft. We were both born on Mulberry Street. I can be tough, too. One thing the old man taught me, never give a guy a chance. When you got him down, don't press your luck. Finish him. You don't have to fight the same guy twice. In some ways, the old man was right. Job in the bank, you want to live. Bring him out. Bring him out. Throw him over. Did you hear me? I said, throw him over. I said, over, dumbhead. Dumbhead, 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 dumbhead. I want you to kill Joe. You're not a dumbhead, be smart. If you kill Joe, you kill him for power. 